I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to get started creating a website using Google Sites. Uh, the reason we're doing this on a video is so that at any point in time you can always pause, rewind, go back, uh, look at different parts of this video to be able to help you as you're working through Google Sites. First of all, to get to Google Sites, you're going to want to go to google.com. You may have already had this bookmark somewhere, but go to google.com. And then if you look in the top right hand corner of the screen, there's a little three by three grid. Uh, might look like a, a little waffle. Um, if you click on that, it'll take you to a list of your Google apps that are available. And if you look down or scroll down, you should find one called Sites. Go ahead and click on that one called Sites. Once you do, you'll be taken to the Google Sites homepage. Right now, they still have old Google Sites up, so you're going to need to go to the left-hand side of the screen and look down to where it says New Google Sites. Go ahead and click on that. Now, if you've created anything in Google Sites before, you will see several different websites that you might have created in the past will show up here under Recent Sites. If you haven't done anything before, this page should be blank. Uh, look down at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and you will see a circle with a plus in it. Go ahead and click on that to start creating your new site. So once this loads, you'll see something up at the top uh, with the header. It'll say Your Page Title. You'll see up at the very top left, it'll say Untitled Site. And then there's a couple of other controls here and there on the right-hand side of the page and along the top. I'm going to take you first to the right-hand side of the page. If you look over on the right-hand side of the page, you'll see the words Insert, Pages, and Themes. I'm going to run you through real quick what each of these mean, and then we'll go back to the left side of the page and talk a little bit more about that. If you want to add something to your page, we're going to start with the Insert menu. It's already on this one, so you'll see four options up at the top. These will be some of the ones you may use most often, and that would be text box, images, embed, and upload. So text box, if you click on that, it'll add a text box into your website. This is where if you want to add text to your site or add different sections to the body of your site, you'll go ahead and click text box, and it will add it down to the body section of your website. If you want to embed a website or a link into your web, into your particular site so that someone can click there and it takes them to another site, go ahead and choose the embed option. If you want to upload files, maybe such as a PDF or something like that, you can go ahead and choose the upload option. And images is if you want to add images to your site uh, just to kind of spice it up or, or add some visuals. A little bit further down will be the components. That's a divider line. You can add that anywhere to kind of divide sections of your website up on the same page. If you have things that you want to add from other parts of Google, let's say that you have a Google slideshow that you created to present something and you want to add that here to your website so people can see it right from your site, um, you can go ahead and choose Google Dr from Drive under the Google Drive header. If you choose that option, it will open up a window that allows you to access your Google Drive files, and then you can attach any of those files to your Google site. Going a little bit further down, there's the Google Embeds, and you can add videos from YouTube. You can add a Google Calendar if you have one set up for some reason um, to use on your website. You can add a Google Map if you're trying to show a location. Down a little bit further, you can add things from Google Docs or Google Slides, if you know it's specifically a document or a slide or something like that, you can come down here and you can find it in this Google Docs section down at the bottom. Let's jump back up to the top of the page now to the right of where it says Insert is the word Pages. If you click there, you would be able to see all the pages that you have that are part of your website. If you need to add a new one, go ahead and go down to where there's a little, looks like a little sheet of paper with the corner folded and a plus. If you click that, that will allow you to add a new page. The only page you have right now would be Home, unless you've worked on this page in the past. And if you hover next to the name of any of your pages, I'm, I'm going to hover next to Home right now, there's three dots that will be off to the right-hand side. If you click on those, you'll have options of Make a Copy, Properties, and Add Subpage. So if you choose Make a Copy, it will take whatever page you've got right now that you have clicked on this three dots, uh, and it will make an exact copy of that page. That way, if you have several pages and you want them to look very, very similar but change a few things, it's easier to just make that first page, make a copy, and then change the one or two things that you want to change. Properties, we're going to skip because you really won't mess with this properties part. Add a sub page, that's if you want, when you have more pages on your site, they will show up along the uh, kind of the top of the page. If you want to add a sub page, then that means when you hover over the link to click on to get to that site, it will have a little drop down menu where it can give you more. 
So just as an example, if I was making a website and I put um, classes that I have as my main page, then I know that the classes I have while I'm in school are going to be language arts, social studies, math, science, art, those type of things. So I could add sub pages where I have a page for each of my classes that is underneath the overall class page. So that's what add a sub page is if that's something that you would find useful. Go back up to the top and to the right of the word pages is the word themes. This is where you can change the look and feel of your site. They don't give you a whole lot of different options for changing the font or the font style or the colors, um, but you can change a few things here or there and it will kind of it will change the look and feel of your entire site. So changing it to one of these will change your font, will change your colors, and you have a little bit of control over that, but you don't, you're not able to fine-tune you know, things to exactly the way that you want them. All right, let's jump back over to the left side of the page now, the biggest section of the page here. And this is where you would, uh, if you've added text boxes, pictures, things like that, uh, this is where you would add them. Let's start up at the, so uh, the top of the site where it says Untitled Site. If you click there, you put in a name for your site. And this is the name for the overall, uh, this is the overall kind of file name for your site. Same thing as if you were naming a Google Doc. Uh, this is the name of the site that you'll see when you come into the very first Google Sites page, and it's the one that identifies your website. A little bit further down where it says enter site name, that's a name that will show up in the top left corner of every page of your website. So if you wanted to say, you know, if my name is John and I wanted to say John's uh, World War II site, I would put that there. And then every page that someone goes to on my website will always say John's World War II site in the top left hand corner. It does give me the option to add a logo here if I have some type of image or logo that I want to do instead of a site name. Where it says your page title, I can click there, change the title of this first page, keeping in mind that where it says your page title, this is just the title for this particular page. If you have multiple pages on your website, you'll need to change each of those for each of those pages. If I go just a little bit further down in the header, I have the option to change the image or change the header type. If I feel like this header is too big or maybe not even big enough, if I go to header type, I get several different options for either a large banner, a banner, or title only. Large banner means I've got a really big picture, really big header up there. Uh, banner is the one that it starts off with, this kind of medium sized. And if you do title only, there's really no picture at the top. It's just the words uh, that you choose as your title. If you choose change image, you can either upload or select from a list of images that Google has built in. That's up to you. Now down in the body of the site right now, since I haven't done anything with my site, it's just white down here in the body of the site. And if you remember when we were looking at the insert menu, some of the options were to add a text box, to embed something, to add photos. I can do that same thing without going up to that insert menu by double clicking anywhere in the white section of this page. It gives me text, this little circle pops up, and I have text in the middle with images upload from Drive and embed. By clicking any of these it will add that element to my website. Very quickly along the top of the page, when you're ready to go, you can preview your image, you preview your website by clicking on the little eyeball. And that will give you a preview of what your site looks like. Down on the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little box that has uh, an X and then it's got three different types of screens. If you want to see what this website would look like on a phone, you can click that one and it shows you what it would look like if someone were viewing it from their smartphone. On a tablet, it shows you what it would look like on a tablet, like an iPad or something like that. Or then on a large computer screen. If you want to get out of this preview and go back to editing your site, just go ahead and click the X to exit preview. If you're working on this with someone else and you need to share this with them, go ahead and click on the Share with Others button. This Share with Others does not publish your site to the public. This is if you are working with someone else before you're ready to publish it or if you want other people to be able to add to your site. For example, if you're working in a group, you would share with others and then you would add your other group members to this. When you're ready to go and you're ready to publish this, you would click the blue publish button. You would need to come up with an end of your website address. So your site address, every website address that you create using your Hawthorne Google account will be sites.google.com slash hawthorne73.org slash 
something. Like whatever you put in this web address box right here, that's what will show up at the end of your site address. So if your teacher needed you to share the address of your site with them, your full address, so let's say I decided that if mine is John's World War II site, let's say I decide to do um, the end of my address here is John WW2. So I might do sites.google.com slash hawthorne73.org slash, and then I will type in here John WW2. So my full address would be sites.google.com slash hawthorne73.org slash John WW2. And then I can choose down here who can view my site. Do I want to make it so that it is anyone at Hawthorne73 with the link can view? It's the same thing as if I was doing uh, sharing a Google Doc or a Google Slide presentation. I can set specific people. I can make it public on the web. So I have all kinds of different options here. It may just depend on what your teacher wants you to do with this, as to whether or not you are sharing this site publicly or just keeping it within a certain group of people or just sharing it with your teacher. That's it. You can always go back and take a look at this video again and go to different sections of the video. Um, also feel free to take a look at the Google Sites uh, Google Doc that's been created. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask your teachers and if they don't know, they will get in touch with me. Uh, my name is Mr. Reed and I am the tech coach for the district. And if they have any questions that they can't answer or you can't answer, um, they will get in touch with me. Let me know and hopefully I'll be able to stop by and help you guys with your sites at some point during your project.